Now at 430, making the grade. This week there's a new way for you to see how your children's school is doing on everything from test scores to attendance and graduation rates. For years, schools have gotten one letter grade, but critics say that's not fair because it doesn't paint the whole picture. These grades have also been paused since the beginning of the pandemic about three years ago, so we learned there's a solution. There's a solution for now. Kids can get AP classes. Kathy Fuentes Rower is a mom and school board member in Bloomington. She says one letter grade should never define a whole school. Just as my child is not the sum total of a grade, like one letter grade for, for who he or she is, neither is a school. She and other critics say the letter grades were tied too heavily to standardized test scores, which are historically lower in urban and low income neighborhoods. So basically we were stigmatizing um, kids in poverty and the teachers and the families and the communities they serve and um, and then there were consequences for it. So state lawmakers asked the Department of Education to come up with a different plan. For now, each school district has an online dashboard, a work in progress, but what will eventually be a more comprehensive look at a school's performance. Alexandra Appleton is a parent in Hamilton County and covers education for the nonprofit news website Chalkbeat. I'm looking at my son's school right now and I can see the per pupil funding that's broken down. Plus attendance and literacy rates and average SAT scores for high school. And all of that is supposed to give you a more complete picture of your school than just a single letter grade. She went full but State Representative Robert Boehning says letter grades may still have a role to play in measuring how your children's schools are doing. I would suggest that parents understand A to F much uh, it's much clearer to them than going to a dashboard and trying to drive down and see exactly what's going on. He says it should depend on how the grade is determined. I have a measure how they do on um, attendance, uh, parent engagement. Kathy Fuentes Rower calls the current dashboard system a step in the right direction, but she says she hopes it's not the final answer. My friend said it's like a shadow of the school. It's not, it's not the sum total of it. I'm told this is sort of a stopgap measure until a permanent solution can be found. In the meantime, you can find the online dashboard for your children's school district and individual school by going to our website, WTHR.com. Just click on this story. And Felicia, you know, critics have said there are just some things that you're never going to be able to measure, like does the school have a welcoming environment, right? What about teacher experience and how do they handle conflict resolution? Some of that's just always going to be word of mouth. Yeah, and well, like we were just saying, I mean, the stigma that's attached to it. Now you're saying bad school or bad neighborhood, and mm -hmm. that might not totally be the case. No, there's a much, a much bigger picture there, and that's why the state's working on some sort of solution, and the legislature is going to check up and see how the Department of Education is moving along there. Okay, there we go. Thanks mm -hmm. for bringing us that. Yeah.